starts today. The governor says travelers must fill out a new declaration to enter our state. ABC 4's Jared Giacchini is live near the Salt Lake Airport with what this means for people flying in. Good morning, Jared. Brian, good morning. That travel declaration is for anyone 18 years or older. For passengers flying into the Salt Lake City International Airport, it, where it's their final destination upon arrival, will receive a postcard with a QR code on it for them to get access to an online declaration form. Again, that's for flyers. Drivers, take a look at your screen. Anyone entering these nine ports of entry around the state starting today will receive an emergency text alert to fill out that online declaration. This is how the form looks. It asks if the person has been tested for COVID-19, if they've had symptoms and where they have traveled prior to entering the state. Officials say if a traveler does report symptoms, someone from the state's trace team will contact the traveler for next steps. This will allow us the uh, data to be able to manage those uh, folks that are entering our state and to be able to control the virus. Now, emergency management says this travel declaration is on an honor code similar to the governor's stay home, stay safe directive. It will not be enforced by law. Now, in a recent press conference, Salt Lake City Mayor Mendenhall mentioned implementing temperature screenings here at the airport. No word if and when that will happen. Now, also on a side note, if you plan to fly out of the airport this morning or this afternoon, be sure to check the board. There's a lot of cancellations this morning. Reporting live, Jared Jotanini, ABC 4 News. Well, I think